Hey, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn ordinary vanilla Minecraft into a realistic island survival using mods and a custom map that you can choose. So let's get right into the mods. The first mod is the survive mod. It adds a thirst bar, a temperature bar, and a stamina bar. In real life, you can get thirsty. And so this mod adds a thirst bar where you have to manage your thirst and you have to drink water. It also adds a temperature bar which you have to manage your temperature because in real life you can get hot and cold. And with this mod, if you get too hot or too cold, you take damage. There's also a stamina bar as well. I'm not too sure how it works, but it's there. This mod is basically just a great mod to make Minecraft more realistic. The second and third mod is Better Animals Plus and Alex's Mobs. As you can tell from the name, it adds more mobs and animals. Real life has a bunch of animals, and this mod adds a bunch of realistic animals. Some of the animals are dangerous and can attack you, some are not. It adds more realism to the game and can allow you to hunt more animals for different foods. Mod 4 is Better Diving. A simple mod, it changes a couple things to swimming and diving. It's basically just an overhaul of vanilla Minecraft um, swimming. And it changes how swimming works, breathing, oxygen system changes a bit. It also adds a diving gear, I do believe. But it's just a basic simple mod that changes um, swimming. The fifth mod is Macaw's Furniture. In real life, there are furnitures and houses and decorations. And this mod basically just adds that. It basically just adds more realistic furniture and decorations that you can put in homes. It's cool and effective. Mod 6 is Spartan Weaponry. And this mod adds a bunch of new tools. Each tool is different and has their own custom stats and abilities. This adds a bit of realism and more options that you can pick from. So you can customize your own fighting style. It can allow for different weapons for different situations. So basically, it just makes combat a lot more realistic. Mod 7 is Aqua Culture. It adds a bunch of new fish and water-based mobs. In real life, there are tons of things living in water. But vanilla Minecraft doesn't have that much, maybe besides a couple fish and a squid. But this mod adds a bunch. Some are friendly, some are not. It adds a bunch of aqua-related tools and items like fishing rods and other things. And it adds so much more. It basically revamps all large bodies of water. Mod 8 and 9 is Dynamic Trees and No Punching mod. It makes trees much more realistic. In normal Minecraft, trees float. And I think you can see where it's unrealistic there. In real life, trees don't float. They fall if you chop them down. And this mod basically makes trees fall. Also, you can't punch trees in real life. Well, you can, but it's not really effective. And this mod makes it so you can't punch trees in Minecraft. You have to gather flint, make a hatchet, and then chop the trees. Makes it much more realistic and cool as well. The 10th mod is the first aid mod. A mod that completely changes the health system in Minecraft. There's a separate health bar for each body part. And each body part are damaged by different things. And if certain body parts are damaged, it gives different effects. For example, fall damage. It hurts the legs. Duh. And it gives slowness because if you hurt your legs, then um, it's going to be hard to walk. And arrows damage your head. And if you take enough head damage, you instantly die. And so on. It makes health and damage much more realistic. Because in real life, your entire body doesn't share one health bar. Mod 11 is the Realistic Torch mod. As the title says, this mod adds realistic torches. Torches will eventually run out and have to be relit. They will also go out in the rain, and it basically just makes Minecraft much more realistic with its torching system. Because torches in normal Minecraft just stay lit forever. And that's not how torches actually work in real life. Mod 12, the Better Weather mod. Another self-explanatory mod. It basically just adds better weather more realistic weather, seasons, and such. Some of the weathers include acid rain, blizzards. It just makes it so much more real how it's not just basically one weather per biome. 
Mod 13 to 14 is Nutritional Balance in Harvest Craft 2. Before I start, Harvest Craft 2 actually is divided into multiple other mods as well, so I recommend getting the full Harvest Craft bundle for its full experience. So basically, Harvest Craft 2 adds bunch more food, okay? There's a ton. And Nutritional Balance adds a bunch of nutritional values to each food and makes it so you have to manage your nutrition and what you eat. In Minecraft, you could eat the same food forever and be completely fine. But with the Nutritional Balance mod, it makes it so you have to eat a variety of foods. You have to eat your veggies, your carbs, your proteins, your fruits, and your sugars. It makes it so eating is much more realistic now, and not just simply eating anymore. Mod 15 is the Item Physics mod. It adds physics to items. It makes it so you don't just pick up items when you walk over them. You actually have to click on them and pick them up. It's basically just a cool and simple realistic mod. Mod 16 is the first person models mod. Basically it adds a first person model. Because in normal Minecraft, if you look down, you can't see your foot. And you're like a ghost basically. Or either you're a ghost or you have no feet. It just makes it more realistic and cool and adds to the realistic island survival vibe. Pretty optional though. Mod 17 to 18, Dynamic Surroundings and Enhanced Visuals. Two mods that greatly enhance gameplay. It completely changes the vibe and atmosphere. There's better footstep audio, better visuals. When you take damage, blood stains will appear on your screen. And if your health gets low enough, your screen will beat red. And if there's an explosion, your whole screen will blur. Overall, two amazing mods that just makes Minecraft so much more fun. A definite must-have. So that's it for the mods. Next step is actually downloading and getting a custom Minecraft map. So I will link two videos in the description of this video. These two videos will have a compilation of a bunch of different islands that you can download and find. You can pick any of the islands though. So um, once you find the island that you like, go and download it and um, install it into Minecraft. If you don't know how, it's pretty simple. You can just search Google how to install custom maps. It's not really that hard. Basically, you just download the file, open percent app data percent, go to saves and drag the file in. That's basically it. And once you have the custom file installed, open up Minecraft and load the world. Enter the world with the mods, and basically you're done. You have all the mods, so the gameplay is realistic, and you have the island as well. And boom! Now you have a realistic island survival game. Also, I recommend using shaders as well, but it's not really important, so um, you don't have to use it. You should only use it if your computer can actually handle it, unlike mine, which would explode if I use shaders. So yeah. Well anyways, thanks for watching. I'm gonna leave now. This recording has been way too long because I kept messing up my uh, recordings because I suck at speaking.